there. I see the space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can play with it a little bit so you see. Oh, if you do it, you would do it. In oh, it's like coming. Like that. Okay, yeah. now. So that's if, if, if they're let's see, seated or if they're laying down, then you will position the arm like this. Right? You can do this way. It's just you can see less of the voices. Sorry, guys, yes. it was yeah. disconnected. The Wi Fi was not uh, great. So we're going to restart streaming. Great, so we're just talking about the different approaches of uh, the glomerular humeral joint injections. No, no, no. So this is subacromial subdeltoid oh, okay. borsa. Got it. Which is a separate borsa. Wow. It will only be uh, uh, together with uh, uh, the um, humeral um, joint if you have a tear in the muscle. I see. Otherwise, it's a separate, it's a separate borsa. It's not connected to the to the joint. Got it, got it. If you have supraspinatus tear, however, they become... Both in play. Uh, they be they somehow become connected. I'm not completely sure how this happens, the whole thing, but if if you have a complete tear, you can basically inject anywhere. You can inject glenohumerally and it will get here. I see. You can inject here and it will get to the joint. Got it. But if the joint is normal, if you only have the impingement, mm -hmm. this works is separately. Got so it, got it's it. It's a separate thing. I see. And so there's two ways of injecting it, the modified press and also the regular yep. neutral yep. position. Mm -hmm. Honestly, laying on the side was my uh, favorite. That's what Dr. Bisco told me, ergonomically, it just gives you an advantage of resting your hand on a patient's arm. Gotcha. So it just kind of like, yeah, alleviates a lot of... I'm sure. <laughs> cool. He's so good with ergonomics. Um, it's, it's, it's so big. It's spectacular, yeah. All right, so we did uh, supraspinatus in different views. Uh, now we're going to we're going to the posterior side. Posterior side. Okay. okay, so now we want to find infraspinatus and uh, there is minor. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe we need a little bit more depth. Okay, so right now you see this. Central, to call it. central tendon. But this is the central tendon of infraspinatus, as Gerard beautifully showed us. So if you rotate on that white thing, on the on the tendon, and then follow it to the attachment. Actually, let me mm -hmm. go the other way and follow it to the attachment. To the uh, greater greater trope. Tuber greater tubercle. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So you will see on its way. So this is already bicep tendon. Mm -hmm. If you go back, this is the this is the joint. Go a little bit back, a little bit back, a little bit back. Perfect. So this is the labrum. This is the humeral pad. This is this is the labrum. This is where you would go to inject the venic humeral injection. So this one I've never done. I think you go. In you actually go both ways. It's interesting. So I actually the best way I've done is you come immediately in and you drop yeah. right down. Uh -huh. um, you're still in plane, so let's clean that up for touch. There you are. Perfect. Now so you'll come from here and come or right from, above. Or, or yeah. Right here. Basically, just let your cursor. You want to base. That's exactly it. So long right. as you get to that line, you're in. You're in the joint. I see. So you can go down to Austin and pull back to touch, and you'll see the dilation. Got it. Um, but you can come this way. So basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and to keep your probe where it's at and okay. come directly down. Uh -huh. They actually show you in Malenga's injection book that you come from this, this yeah. way. But that's really tough because you have to hug the humeral head uh -huh. as you're coming across. Like that has to be absolutely perfect. Otherwise you're going to shoot too far and you'll be an infraspinatus muscle. Mm -hmm. How do you avoid the labrum? Um, you know, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I mean like but the structure is hard. It's finished here, so you're hoping that if you go in here, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because once you poke through the capsule and you start injecting a little bit, you can see if you see that it's uh, dilating, the space is getting bigger. Yeah. Then you know that you're inside. Got it. Got it. Okay. So if I go up, then it's supraspinatus. Yes. And s yeah. So that's supraspinatus. Then infra was what you would look for yeah. before. So that's supraspinatus. Yes. 
the okay. spine of the scapula is kind here, of Yeah, here you yeah. also can see the suprascapular notch. See. So in order to do that, you kind of have to be almost perpendicular to the uh, spine of the scapula. It's a little bit confusing, but Sorry. let me give you a little bit more depth. Because it's right here, the nerve travels under, right? Mm -hmm. Gets the mm -hmm. supraspinatus, and then spinal glenoid is what separates the supra and infra if you had a cyst. Spinal like glenoid. There's, there's a spinal glenoid notch in a suprascapular. Yeah, if you yeah. have a cyst in the spinal glenoid, then you would have weakness in the teres minor, but not in the supraspinatus. I think this is suprascapular notch. There's two. Spinal glenoid is the one, at least what they were saying, is yeah. the yeah. one for yeah. axillary nerve. And that makes more sense. I think it's supraspinate. So this, this notch would be separating. Okay. Because it's when, when it crosses over the uh, spine. Okay. So I think it's this one. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. There's a notch, yeah. Yeah, you just, yeah. It, it's not perfect, but that's... Supra-scapular notch. Supra-scapular notch. So it's super, uh, supra-scapular nerve that innervates supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Yeah. So if something happens over here, then infraspinatus will be affected and supraspinatus will be all right. Got it. From my understanding. Not that I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm. All right. And then there is minor. You can Same see below. below. Yeah. A try so to put I, I feel like Gerard had a beautiful view. But I feel like you want to be, yeah, a little bit yeah. more lateral. Perfect. Yeah. So this we know is in And below and that. That's a teres. Oh, that might be already major. So here's infras, infraspinatus. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna track down. And then we're gonna tilt this guy upwards. Oh. Uh, oh, so they all go to the insertion site. I yeah. See. So, so the, this is on the so this might be aspect of the hydrotrophic. Yeah. I'm not sure, but can I do? The, the, that big of a poic area. You're still on infra because uh -huh. this is your joint injection view. So that's infraspinatus. Yeah. Side. So you can scan. Down that way, and that might be really tough. To see. That that could be it right there. Coming yeah, through. this right, the small. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, right. That's really the small. other way that Dr. Kim I think was showing us is she puts all three of them, so you do transverse plane. Okay. And then there is a way to find kind of like a sunglass view. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just a little bit medially so we can Medial. see yeah so in this view and then scan up so there's a spine of the scan below that so spot. i think this is infra and this is their spine if i'm ah, i like that and there's a central right? is that central? central yeah yeah so this is their spine this is infra with the, with the tendon the mm -hmm. tendon is so beautiful mine does not look anything like that <laughs> Thanks, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, like, wavy, wavy thing. <laughs> I feel like my tendons are so, like, prominent. What time is it? 7 for you to debut on a scan? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I could do it on the anyway. You do that. I'm going to just grab some gloves real quick. Here. Here, we can wipe you off. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All service. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Alright, so you guys know I have had zero ultrasound experience, but But you know like the structure. My anatomy is very really good. Yeah. Do you think they're seeing us? Oh, yeah, they are. So this is our guy that should always go medial, right? Okay, so I see the biceps tendon. Mm -hmm. This one, right? Yep. yep. And then so medial to that is our sense gap and lateral is supraspinatus. Clean it up a little bit. Is this medial? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's medial. Moving this way is lateral. 
Okay. The sub step. Mm -hmm. Externally right there. Yes, yep, yep, yep. yep. Perfect. Right here. Okay, so now we can see subscapularis tendon. We can. It's subcoracoid bursa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that, that we just made up, but yeah, <laughs> subcoracoid bursa, yeah. Can you make it better, the coracoid process part? That's already a muscle. Yeah, yeah right there. Yeah. Oh, perfect, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, cool. Okay. And then you can rotate on some scap and see the fasciculus um, structure, not fasciculus, what do you call it? The, the fibular, fibular. fibular structure, yeah. Fibular, fibular. For the tendon? It's like literally easier said than done. Yeah. I'm on but I like that. your finger. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. Jared okay, Levine. This is by Jared Levine. Um, previous Pete's fellow who <laughs> told me that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's great. I watched some of his lectures. Um, okay, so I'm trying to grab that and turn on it. Yeah. Supraspinatus, and they're all coming S out. Sub, of the subscap. Oh, subscap, subscap. subscap sorry, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. subscap, and that's like the broom. So the broomstick, I think, is the bicep tendon. Bicep tendon. tendon. But, but are they coming out at us? When uh, you do that, you sh the shape shape. That's the broomstick. It's essentially orthogonal oh, to it. I see. Yeah. So I think yeah, they would be coming. I just meant, are they coming out to us like broomstick broomsticks in that view? I no? think when Gerard was pointing out to. It, if you're like completely parallel with the fibers, mm -hmm. yeah. you'll then see like black fibular. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, not parallel. Perpendicular. I'm um, orthogonal. Yeah. So I think it's yeah. perpendicular. It should be broomstick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then if I rotate back, uh -huh. is there anything else that I should? No, explore? here I think that's kind of that's okay. kind of it. Yeah. And then you already saw beginning of coracobrachialis muscle, so yeah. we've seen that. So now you can go ahead and come back to your home okay. base. Perfect. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then you can. Um, Sorry, I'm getting issue. No, no, you could follow it up to the radiator interval. So. That's the bike. No wait. So that was home base. I think it's my arm. Yeah, sorry. My arm yeah, so was home base. Yeah, perfect. and then follow the biceps tendon up to up the, to the Yeah, to the rotator interval. I think you need to like point down a little. Then yeah. the first day was coming up a little bit. See? Yeah. yeah. So Just the before. trick here is that your lateral end, mm -hmm. you might want to move more medial. Maybe higher. A little bit, yeah. Do the what? Yeah, so you see, it's oh, yeah. kind of like if you, if you want to like put it really nicely, this the, the thickness of it will be like the same. Okay. Yeah. So this this will kind of clue you that you are in the right place, that okay. you see all the fibers and not missing some of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's bicep tendon, and then lateral this way is your supraspinatus, right? Yeah. And then medial is subscap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So then we've I seen that. Okay. And then we can do yeah. the supraspinatus. So now you can move laterally. I can go into a modified crest a little bit. Let's try it 
take all the gel off you. Thanks, Vera. Sure, no. You guys are so good, right? We worked on it. You're so good. But I also like I really know structures well, but I can't pre like I can't show them as well as Gerard does. Like the way like how it struggles, it's it would be like if I was showing it to you, it wouldn't be that beautiful. Like you would understand. But I'm not that level yet. Yeah. yeah, but like it's so there are levels too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. So you, this. Okay, so this is my modified crest, right? So think about where the super spin is coming from. So the um, Gerard also was saying um, pointed to the ear. Okay. So you want to have greater uh, um, greater tuberosity in the view and you want to have end of supraspinatus in the view, right? Yeah. That's kind of like the goal, right? Yeah. Okay. So... And this should still be yeah. proximal. Yes, and my, my because I turn my arm in the modified crest, my greater tuberosity is here. Okay. Here. Perfect. Okay. So my, yeah, so now you have a chromium here, you have greater tuberosity, and I think lateral facet where it attaches. It should yeah. be lateral facet. Okay, perfect. And then this is super And then super spinous. And okay. this is exactly where subacromial and subdelta is in case someone has a pin and we need to inject some steroid in. Okay. That's what we're talking about. It's beautiful. It's hard work. Yeah. yeah. And that's a bird beak, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I that's a bird so. beak, right? For super spinatus to the lateral facet of the yeah. ground stroke? I mean, or 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 superior. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah I keep saying true. Oh, I mean, there it is. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Vera, you're such a perfect specimen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And okay. So perfect. So yeah, we so and then we can go. I can go into complete. And then I can try to And you can do so now. Think how again anatomy changed. So my. Um, greater tuberosity is now here. Mm -hmm. so originally it was here, right? Now it's like all the way here. So yeah. just think how it changes. And my supraspinatus is still in the same place as it was. So. Right. So we should be able to follow it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so there it is. Yeah. Oops, I lost it. Yeah. Maybe try a little bit higher off. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. And in this view, you can yeah. do transfers if you want to see more fibers. If you want, you you can. So this is longitudinal view, right? Yep. So you can um, turn on on it, and then see the transfers. Okay. If you need to, that might be like a thing for next time. Okay. Because I feel like that's gonna be really hard. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're doing amazing. Do you need more? Yeah. Okay. And then the Thank you. posterior you. So I should be able to skull, see the infraspinatus. Oh, I think that's it, right? You need one depth. That central tendon I see down there, right yeah. in the middle of the screen. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then move a little bit laterally so you can see the humeral head. Yeah. Yeah. Turn maybe a little bit the lateral side of, of your transducer, turn a little bit higher up. Perfect. Okay. okay. So that's your humeral head. Yep. Maybe a little bit down, just, just that perfect. Yeah, so this is the labrum. Um, this is the infraspinatus. Okay. I see it. Yeah. And this is the delt. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And then I want to sort of turn on the hyperechoic central tendon, right? I guess so, yeah. Let me just try to get it better. Or you can also just turn, like, put the transfers so, so and see if we can find that sunglass view that Dr. Kim likes. Okay. Like, both ways. I think, I mean, you'll find it. The turns are the tricky part. Alright, is that sunglass side? No, you want to be like this. So you want to have all three muscles in, in the view. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so this way, let's see. 100%. Oh, that like that. Way. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's crazy. Um, you don't do it already, but it's okay. So, too far. Um, yeah. So your dot is inferior or superior? Superior. Uh, superior is the right. Which one is 
that's where my dot is. I'm getting confused. Oh, so so that the protrusion, that's that's the left. Oh, put this one on top, just so we're not confused for the entrance of the nose. Thank you. So the notch should always be crossed. Yeah, the, the notch is on the left. Okay. So I guess I was thinking this is more left, but it should be superior. Mm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so, so I think the convention is the notch is medial and superior. Yes. Superior to independent. But that's, that's what helps me. But then when yeah. uh, should I do it? Like, actually, do this. Okay. Yeah. And then we can see. And then drop down. So this is the um, spine of the yeah. scapula. Yeah. So it is the spine. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. There's yeah. a bone yeah. Yeah. yeah, right? So that's the spine. And then we were thinking about it. We have to be thinking how we're going to make it from the name. Oh, yeah, there, so there that's, that's, that's the interesting thing. <laughs> okay. We'll think about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That, I'll need more work on that. You guys have a great yeah. day. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gerard. Thanks, right. Gerard. It's good seeing you. Can I give you well, that? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, maybe, yeah. Good. This is, uh, this is awesome. You are so welcome, Vera. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, I think teacher. we're going to finish <laughs> our uh, live streaming today. And then thanks for all my resident doctors and fellow doctors. As, uh, next week, I will, I will be on vacation. So uh, we are not doing live streaming. So see you in two weeks. Bye. Can I change real quick? Here, are you living?